oh, there's a lot of people I know over there. So I'm going to look over there. <laughs> oh, no, over there, too. <laughs> little scared, but uh, be nice. I'm, I'm new uh, to the scene. Laura. Oh, thank you. That, I didn't even ask for that one. Um, but uh, I have to stand near this thing. I'm practicing, OK? I, I want to tell you guys a, a, a story first before I start the set. I like all these new words I get to use. I used them all day, so. This morning, Laura had me come and do a sound check here. Now, this is the first time I've ever really spoken on a mic like this before, when it doesn't come to something finance. So I sat here and I like stared at these performers and I was like, oh my God, this is not gonna go the way that I need it to go, you know? So after I was like, oh, all sweaty, I'm gonna walk around Washington Square Park and I'm gonna see if I can find someone to listen to me. So I walked around, clouds of smoke, you know. Uh, it's a place of lots of pot these days. I don't know what that is, so I'd just like to make sure you all know. But I got the courage to ask these two women who looked, you know, kind of, they're like looking at me from the other side of the bench, and I was like, they're in hijabs. And I was like, you know, I, t my people, I'm gonna just go and see them. They're brown, I'm brown, There's, nobody else is looking at me. So I walk over and they're like, we can't go to a comedy show tonight. I was like, no, no. I'm, not, I'm not giving away free tickets. <laughs> I had a backpack on, shorts and a t-shirt, like I'm in college, like walking around like, hey guys, I just wanted to sell you tickets to come to my comedy show, will you please come? And they're like, okay, we'll listen to you. And I was like, all right, thank you so much. And so I proceeded to tell them all the stories about my life and I'll get to those in a minute, but one of the women got a little teary-eyed and she's like, is, is everything okay with your family? Like, your parents talk to you? You're married to a woman? You, you have babies? This, is everything work out okay? And I'm like, yeah, everything's actually great. She's like, oh, gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's, I think she said bismillah. I hope I'm saying it right. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Thank you. That, you know, so it was a good omen. And then I had, like, four more hours because I was here at, like, 9 a.m. today. So why go home, even though I live two miles from here? I didn't. They told me there'd be a shower here, which I did take, so <laughs> feeling excited. I went to Aster Hair. Now, yep, all right, good. Aster Hair is a great place. I refuse to pay a lot to blow my hair out because it's only gonna last for like an hour because I'm Indian and my hair is gonna get really big when I sweat. So I went, you go down the stairs, it's like old New York. Everybody has their glass. Everybody's paying by the hour for their, for their hair. She goes, where are you going? And I was like, oh, to go do some comedy. She's like, oh, how do you pay for things? And I was like, I, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm just going to have some fun. And she's like, okay, well, let's see what we can do. And I was like, you're making it look scary. Like, I just want my hair to look not frizzy for like maybe 10 minutes because this light is super strong. <laughs> so um, we sat there while she burned my scalp little by little. and. And then she proceeded to give me something and she said, I could really use the business, you know? So she gave me her card. And I promised I'd give it out tonight. So at the end, I'm gonna give it to somebody out there and she's gonna blow your hair out for 40 bucks, okay? That's a deal in New York. So, you know, look, I got you all something, all right? So anyway, I feel like I can start and kind of get into this. Thank you all for coming tonight. Um, it's really cool to be in something that's all Asian and no white people up here today. But I do love white people. I'm married to one. Who, yeah. So I, I'm not racist. I uh, just like to have a little bit of an audience every now and then. And this is, wow, the biggest one I've ever had. So. Um, I, I just wanted to say, you know, May into June, I'm gay, I'm brown, I get all of it, right? Look, oh, oh, I like, I don't even know who you are and you're clapping for me. I've, I'm just already having fun. Um, but I will say I wasn't able to like sing a melody for you or anything, but the artists who are gonna come out are gonna be singing that. So like for 61 days all around the city, you're gonna see everything Asian, right? Everybody knows what I'm talking about. You walk into Trader Joe's, there's a thing called the flyer item. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Come on, where, I know tons of people go to Trader Joe's. 
Yeah, that's that, that crowd right there. I see them, aisle five, four, three, two, one. And <laughs> so it's like the butter chicken and the chicken tikka masala. And I'm like, gosh, anything different? Like none of my mom's foods represented, right? Sorry, mom. And, but then I walk over and I see a wall of ghee and I truly have been seen, <laughs> right? <laughs> like all the ghee in the world. Everybody's like, oh, Sneha, do you put ghee in your coffee now? Your cheekbones are just so round. And I'm like, that, they were always that round. It's not the ghee. That maybe you think it's the ghee, but it's, it's not the ghee. Now we get, Catherine could probably attest to this, we get more bottles of ghee for holidays than wine. And she's like, this is terrible. And then I told her again, she can't say that because she's the white one. So she has to be okay with the ghee coming in the house and Costco size uh, Costco boxes from my in-laws. So thanks to my in-laws for that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I like this. Everybody's laughing. Hope everybody's having a drink. I was told to say that, so make sure you order and tip your wait staff well. And, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about my routines, right? Who has Apple Watch in here? Uh, I see right there. Look, Iman's flashing an Apple Watch. Was it from her kids? No, no. Sorry, Iman. Uh, today is World Meditation Day Challenge. Okay. Did anybody know that? Because I, the lady in, I meditated with people in Washington Square Park today. <laughs> so, and I don't know what it is about virtual badges, but I love getting a badge. Like, it means nothing. I'm not gonna get anything, but it's like, oof, I got a badge on my phone. It's like a gold star when we were little, getting that like spelling bee correct. You know, all the Asian, well, Indian people in here know what I'm talking about. We win spelling bees, you know? You know, you, I went to DC when I was in sixth grade. Still pretty proud of that. Not good at math, but I can spell. So there's, there's something there. But back to my routine. So then after that, the ghee brings me back home and I like, it's like nostalgic, right? I think about my mom and my dad and cooking and slamming the vacuum on the door at 7 a.m. and saying, wake up. You should be scrubbing the floor or the bathtub or something, but whatever you're doing right now is lazy. So. And they blame America for that, so thank you. <laughs> Even though they wanted to come. But we, we're not gonna go there today. But some moments include telling my parents that Catherine and I were having a baby. So we're talking about food and my mom's answer to everything when she's uncomfortable is, we should eat, you know? <laughs> so we go home and Catherine's sitting there, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, we have to tell them now. Like it's like 20 weeks. Some, we, we, we should tell them they're gonna be grandparents. We tell them, and they look over and they say, which one? <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I guess that's a good question. They're like, so confused that it's Catherine. And I was like, how does this happen? And I was like, oh, science. And they're like, oh, oh let's eat. Everything is just, <laughs> let's eat. And I assure you, if you say that to anybody out there now, let's eat will work. So just feel free to use it. So they say, let's eat. The weight of my mom's heart is eating her food. And Catherine knows how to, to imbibe with my mom's food and get along. All you have to do is just eat what she says and there's no problem. She falls asleep because you need a nap when you're pregnant, not just because it's boring in my parents' house. So I'd just like to preface that. <laughs> falls asleep and immediately my dad is the donor of Patel. <laughs> and I was like, what? You, a Patel? How would I know that? It's anonymous donor. Well, but he must be, right? Like, don't you want to know? Aren't you curious? And I said, Dad, you're not gonna ever meet this person. He's like, I know, but Dad, he's six feet tall. He's got the greatest bio data and genes ever. And I married the doctor. She's just white. Every box is checked. <laughs> Come on, right? So that worked for a little while, but then I gave them two sons. So two grandkids, two boys. Everybody's happy now. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my water because I think that's cool when comedians do it. And this might be the only time I'm up here, so I'm just gonna drink a little more. <laughs> Your money's coming. Uh, <laughs> but as, a, as you can see, it's a journey. I think it's cool they named it Breaking Barriers. It was really sweet seeing all the, whoop, there's a note. 
It was really sweet seeing all the um, artists today practice and show how much uh, you know representation matters. And they were singing. It was it was really cathartic, like listening and writing about. I, I sat here and I wrote about what I was going to say over and over again, trying to memorize it. Didn't work. So this is kind of going a little bit off the rails at times, but. <laughs> It's kind, of, it's kind of cool just to see so many people on Broadway, you're gonna see a ton of them tonight, who have worked so hard to, to be the voice of their community. So I just wanna call that out. That it was like one of the best days today. Um, so back to the kids. So now we have two boys. Still have the wife, she gave me two boys. So I gotta give credit where credit is due. <laughs> So, but they're so curious, right? They, like, I have one, you know, he's the president of his student council. I'm so Indian, I had to throw that in there. Uh, so proud, like, he, like, thinks of things and how to liken the lunch menu and how to help everybody. Really cool. So, there's a lady who lives across the hall from us, and she's coming up the elevator, and my kids acknowledge the outfit she's wearing. And they're like, oh, I love your outfit. And she's like, do you mean my dupatta? And I'm like, that which means your shirt. Do, oh, no, dupatta is my scarf. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> kurta, my shirt, or my booty? And I'm like, lady, is this your Duolingo coming in? You don't need to tell my kids that you're, you're on your 100-day streak. I mean, they, they clearly do not probably know Gujarati. They have a white mother, OK? She's, she's busy. She can't teach them the language. <laughs> But I'll tell you, our new elevator in our apartment building is so slow. So she's just staring at the kids. Okay, and she's like, I wonder if they know these words. They're damned, they have two mothers and they don't even know the words for Indian clothing. And I was like, okay, well have a nice day. We never spoke again. No, I'm just kidding. She, she still talks about her dupatta and kurta and her butti. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I, as you can see, there's, there's something to laugh about daily. I appreciate your time tonight. I'm going to have to, I'm getting the wrap it up like I'm in the Oscars. Um, I'm going to hand it over to uh, let you be dazzled by our stars. Uh, your hosts for tonight are Laura and Don Mike. Thank you, guys. Thank you.